however, there's been a push to help our vets recover from the emotional trauma of war, and some local heroes are doing it by the way of gardening. CBS 58's Julie Parisi has their story. It's been decades since Paul Javen served in Vietnam, but memories haunt him to this day. A lot of flashbacks, a lot of uh, bad stuff going on. Lost the temper, drank a little too much, partied too much, but I didn't care. He says his PTSD is something most people will never understand. At least not like his buddies out here at this community garden. It gives you a chance to be with other veterans who had the same experiences. And that is very important to most of us. These veterans, all getting treated for PTSD at the Milwaukee VA, come out here to this acre on Cole Farm to grow lettuce, corn, and other veggies they can take home to their families. But our garden is not so much about growing plants and vegetables, but it's helping veterans to heal. Rodney Pearsall, a counselor at the VA, says the garden started about four years ago. It's one way to try and heal the emotional injuries combat veterans suffer when they get back from war. When they ask us, you know, what, you know, what are you growing at the garden? We're growing more happiness. You know, we're growing fellowship. We're growing peace. You know, it's hard not to come out here and not be relaxed. It gives me an outlet. In the mornings on Tuesdays, we all meet as a group, which is really great. We get to sit around and talk. If we want to work, we can work. And sometimes we don't do much work. We do a lot of talking. Paul says the talking helps, but sometimes it's about not talking at all. Here, because it's nice and quiet, it's beautiful, you get to think through your problems. You don't have to worry about any threats. That sort of put it behind your head. They sleep better. You know, when they go to bed at night, you know, they have something good to think about. You know, everything that's, that's done. You know, for many of them, it, it's giving them a family again. It's hard not to be at peace out here. I think that's what, you know, one of the big things is that it gives them peace. And camaraderie. Some of these guys have been through really bad stuff. They've seen a lot of bad stuff. And it's nice to relate to that. Now, if you'd like, I could bring a frame over there. They'll be fine. Uh, as as the I only one brave enough to do the beekeeping out here is Paul. He loves it. If you're sitting at home doing nothing, you're thinking about some maybe combat experiences or something that happened before. And that, and out here, you don't get that. You, you're, you're keeping your mind active. He ends up coming out here a couple of times a week. So do some of the other guys. Everybody comes out here different. Sometimes it is socialization, you know, because, you know, veterans, you know, they, they, have a, they share a lot of things in common. So they talk about sometimes in the military, both the good and the bad. But then too, you know, it's like now they have something new in their life that they're excited to talk about. Paul says he doesn't think his PTSD will ever be cured, but here he's planting the seeds that will give him a happier, healthier life. It gives us a guiding light to go by. If other guys can make it, then why can't I? Julie Parisi, CBS 58 News. Very cool. Yeah, beautiful shot there at the end with the flag and the sun.